So today, so now I would like to, uh, to invite uh, Dr. Eviatar de Etania, uh, Matania, uh, a good friend, and the first and former uh, director of the Israeli National Cyber uh, Borough and, and Authority. So, Eviatar, very happy to have you here. Um, good afternoon to you all. Uh, I would like to uh, concentrate today on an issue from uh, usually a different perspective that most of, most of people try to deal with. And the question that I would like to uh, put on the table is... Uh, could defenders hold the high ground? Michal, where did you leave the... Uh... I'm <laughs> Thank you. So, the current prevalent notion about uh, cybersecurity is that um, the attackers hold their high ground and that they have advantages over the defenders. And in the equation between uh, attack and defense in cyber, the prevalent notion is that uh, it is unbalanced and the attackers really have a lot of advantages. But what is very interesting is that uh, when uh, among, all, among the myriad experts and studies regarding cybersecurity that try to generate and understand if this advantage of the offenders can really be transformed into offensive superiority, it's interesting to understand that most of them do not believe that the attackers can gain a real superiority in the cyber domain. On the contrary, most of experts, and not just academic experts, but also practitioners, and those who lead cyber issues, although they believe all that the attackers have a lot of advantages over the defenders, they also believe that they cannot gain um, a real superiority, but only a bounded one in place and in time. And uh, Part of them, and Martin Libicki, my colleague from the Naval Academy in Annapolis, who believe that the offenders can not generate a superiority at all. And this is because the cyber terrain, unlike other physical terrains, is changing all the time. And in order to gain a real superiority, 
you need it not to be changeable and because of the malleable characteristic of the terrain, you can gain just superiority, bound of superiority. And Martin Libicki believes you cannot gain it at all because defenders may change the terrain while you attack. So this gap between the prevalent notion about offensive advantages and the and offensive superiority, which most of us do not believe that can exist, led me to try and think from a different perspective of how can we generate this impossibility of the offenders to get superiority into understanding what defenders may do. And then I start to think about the cyber defensive primacy and the rationale to it. So defenders have, from my perspective, one and only advantage over, advantage over attackers. And this is the advantage that they hold the terrain. They own the terrain. They own the cyber terrain. Now, Combine the fact that they own the terrain with a malleable characteristic of the terrain, it means that they can change it. They can remove networks. They can do a lot of things, meaning that they may translate their ownership into hold and control, meaning the defender holds the terrain. And, usually, if the one that owns the terrain really knows its, zo its job, there is no doubt that he, he or she are much more familiar with the systems, the computer system, the network, than any other one. So, take these two, the ownership of the terrain, the ability to change, to remove, to stop, to seize, to do everything you want, and the familiarity, and try to imagine which advantage it is and how we can use it in order to really gain some primacy for defenders. So this is theory, and the question is how to implement it, how to practically try and take these advantages into cyber primacy. And my answer is, I call it continuous terrain remodeling, CTR. And by CTR, I mean everything which could and should be done in order to constantly and continuously change, seize, remodel, reshape everything in your networks to add, to remove, to change the communication between networks, to change the way software looks like, to rule, sometimes, by the way, through randomness. And if an attacker succeeds to penetrate, to change the networks all the time so these attackers will not be able to hold once it penetrated, but you cannot really hold for long. Or if you hold something, you change the communication all the time, an attacker cannot take information, cannot control it from outside. CTI is comprised, and I don't have enough time here to really present it totally, but CTI is comprised of two, of two, um, two main um, comprises of two main uh, subjects or issues, which is one is a technological one, and the second one is process management. Technology is just in the beginning, but um, the whole MTD concept, the whole MTD technologies, the moving target defense, which is now in, um, in 
R&D processes in both universities and industry is part of CTR. How to all the time change and move the target so the offender will not be able to really get a hold on something? How to put some randomness in the, in, in the systems, in the processes? And, but technologies are not enough. We need also process management to decide where to put it, which technologies to use, in which networks, how to rule, how to control them, how not to be trivial in implementing these technologies so the offender will easily be able to identify and control it from outside. This is in brief something which usually takes me much longer to explain. But in brief, the ability to constantly and continuously change the terrain through technologies and through process management, from my perspective, is the only ability to use the one and only advantage the defenders have over offenders in order to start and gain cyber primacy. The levels of CTR is a passive one, meaning just using the technology, a managed CTR, which meaning we manage it, we decide where, what, where, how to do it internally, and embattled meaning that we also try to understand what attacker is going to do when we want to use the CTR in order to forecast, to identify, and to implement the CTR technology and processes in a way that such an offender will not be able to really gain some uh, superiority on us. It is, not, it is not trivial. There is a lot of complexity and there are problems of stability and before implementing any CTR technologies, M MTD or others, we'll have to deal with the problem of um, scalability we will need to deal with the problem of how to maintain our systems stable enough when using such CTR technologies. We will need to see how it's unseen among customers because they cannot use technologies or networks that are changing all the time. But like in a cloud, cloud is something we do not know really where our data or our computer systems are, but we know it is managed. The same should be with CTR technologies. I would like to mention here the problem of the IT managers against the cyber defenders, and by this I mean that if you think about it, IT managers usually, and I am quite cynical here, but they have the same objective like offenders, meaning they want the network to be stable all the time and to do, not to be changed. We need them to understand and need the defenders to rule the networks because it should be changed. I believe that only nation states, big cyber tech and global corporations will be able to really adopt such CTR mechanisms. And they will have to, to have some embattled mindset in order to understand how to manage it so it will be also efficient. And since I'm out of time, I will just jump to the next slide, ask, slide asking you, will it enable us to really gain superiority or supremacy over defenders? I don't know the answer. But what I know is that from my perspective, there is no enough literature on, I call it cyber studies of cyber defense, not cyber security. Most of it, is on, on a superiority from the offensive point of view, and there is an underestimation for what defenders can do. From my perspective, the only advantage the defenders have is the ownership of the terrain and their ability to use CTR in order to gain some primacy. And I believe that it is still a question, but this is the only way to also, on the only path possible to also in the future gain some superiority for defense in the cyber domain. Thank you.
Have a good afternoon.